Well, it's launch day for Modern Horizons 3, and we got three play boosters. And uh, I wasn't sure that I was actually going to participate in this drop since I've been participating in many others prior to this. Uh, but this is the new play booster. So if you haven't been in on the loop, the play booster is going to combine the draft and set boosters into one pack, which is this, the play booster. So there's one rare in every pack, a bunch of commons and uncommons, potentially zero to one lands and a foil. So, and there's 14 cards per pack. Uh, so we're going to dive in. It seems like this is just, uh, I haven't been with magic very long. And so for me to sit here and, and say that I know what modern horizons is would be a lie. Uh, so I wasn't sure how, geez, this is <laughs> kind of crazy to open. I wasn't sure how uh, difficult it would be to actually uh, get my hands on these. They were about $10 at my local Walmart. We'll go ahead and open the others as well. Um, but they were about $10 at my local Walmart. Uh, and I saw them and I, you know, like I said, I really wasn't gonna, I don't think I was gonna really participate in Modern Horizons. And they had a bundle there for a hundred bucks and I kind of went back and forth. But I said, you know what, let's just see what maybe we can get out of this. Maybe, maybe these can sway me. Oh, this guy is really stuck in there. Maybe this could sway me uh, to, to buy a bundle. Good grief. Okay, one second. Okay, I got that one, and, like, they attached it, like, glued it to the packaging. So, uh, anyway, so we've got three play boosters. Modern Horizons 3. Let's just uh, let's just see what we find out of this. I, I haven't been keeping up like I like I mentioned already a few times. I just I was not expecting to really get into this set, so I, I haven't been keeping up. I don't know what's great, but we got some we got some uh, some stuff over here, some sleeves just in case. Um, uh, I guess maybe we'll start. Well, this is the backside. Okay, so we'll start this way. Uh, Malevolent Rumble, a cursed Marauder. Expel the Unworthy, Thriving Skyclaw, Utter Insignificance. And our first land, so there's only one of these in here, I believe. So we have a Bountiful Landscape. Uh, very cool. A Etched Slith. A Titan's Vanguard. I did hear that there was some Eldrazi in here. That looks cool. Brain Surge. Territory Color, and Urza's Incubator as our rare. And, oh, we got another rare, the Sewing Mica Spawn. And we get a Grave Dig and Foil. Oh, and another land. So maybe you can get more than one land. I, I, thought, I thought it said you'd only get uh, zero to one, but maybe it's a little different. Um two rares there I, I think urza's is worth maybe putting a sleeve in uh but uh that i mean that's kind of cool uh i i'm gonna take it a little bit slow so if this isn't your pace sorry um but since these are so new i just wanted to make sure that we go through these and uh you know everybody can see every card you know that kind of thing i know there are plenty of people who uh Plenty of people who love to go through these really fast. I, I'm not really one of them, so super sorry. Voted most likely to bring back banding. That's an interesting. Okay, well, we'll start right here at the top. Uh, a legendary goblin, Skoa Ember Mage. Um, Deem Inferior. Evolution Witness. Cami of Jealous Thirst. Airy Auxiliary, uh, a land, Shattered Landscape, very good, uh, and another land, a Perilous Landscape. So this, this uh, maybe, maybe I just read the card wrong. I thought maybe you only get one, but it appears you can get more. Uh, quest for the Necropolis, or Necropolis, <laughs> Necropolis, uh, that's an uncommon. Glyph Elemental. Collective Resistance. And uh, this is actually a flip card. So there's supposed to be some of these in here, I believe. Uh, Disciple of Freilis. 
that flips into a land, the Garden of Rayleigh's. Or rather, not a flip card, but you can play one or the other. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I feel like I haven't seen those in a while. Uh, a Cursed Mirror. Wow, this is awesome. For our rare. And we get another rare again. Fanatic of Ronos. Very cool. Okay. And then we have Blood Soaked Insight for our foil and uncommon. And uh, a soldier token there. Uh, this is cool because this also flips into a land. Sanguine Morris. So, wow. All right. Uh, we'll put this here. And this is our last pack here. So it seems like if you're into Eldrazi, this might be your thing. Um, oh, I suppose, I guess you can also get art cards out of these play boosters. So if that's something you're interested in, that seems to be an art card there. Uh, all right, we have Glimpse the Impossible. Infathom Infathomable Truths. Definitely have a bunch of cards that are hard for me to say. Malevolent Rumble, Dross Claw, Thrabin Charm, the Drown Yard Lurker. These I've I've always loved the art of the Eldrazi Eldrazi uh, Eldrazi. However you say them, Cranial Ram, Marionette Apprentice, Proud Pack Rhino. Another blood blood soaked insight. Deep analysis, and for the rare, the harbinger of seas. Non basic lands are islands. If you're into merfolk, here you go. And another rare, I believe we were only supposed to get potentially one rare per pack, but this we've had really good luck, uh, and we've had two rares per pack, which is great. Aether revolt. And we have the Colossal Dread Mask in foil. And then this uh, cool art card. So if you like art cards, you can potentially get these. I'm sure you can get them signed. This is the Witch Enchanter. Guys, that is everything. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you going to buy some play boosters? Are you going to get something good out of these? Comment below what you think. And again, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.